Hey YouTube, this is Lego Boy, one two three three six, with another Lego Star Wars review. Today, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but today um, we're going to be reviewing my custom version of the Malevolence. Um, now, obviously, up here, I mentioned them in the last video. I took apart my Millennium Falcon, as well as the smaller Malevolence that was right here. Um, and both of those combined to build this one. I used most of the pieces to build this one. And this one's, uh, actually really impressive. Uh, my best one yet um, that I built. It's huge. Um, so, so I included this, the minifigures that would come um, in the actual level and set. Um, so, I included the minifigures to Padme, though I don't have her, but I included every other one. So, first we have, um, General Grievous. Next we have Anakin Skywalker. Then we have two droids, one as a pilot. And the other one is a regular basic battle droid. And then we have Count Dooku. By the way, guys, I always like using this version. I do have the Clone Wars Count Dooku. I just prefer to use him instead. Um, because he's a lot better. So, let's uh, remove the minifigures. And we'll be get on to the Malevolence. Just give me one sec. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. So, there are all the minifigs and the lightsabers. Okay, um, here's the Marvel ones. It's pretty big. I can I can I can uh, lift it. I tend to lift it from like this um, because of its size. It's a little bigger, so there's nothing on the bottom of it. So we're mo it's mostly just going to stay on the ground. Um, so let's first take a 360 look at it, so you can kind of see um, the design on it. Here are the engines in the back behind it. You can see those. Um, See them behind them, how they stick out. The rest of it. The ion cannon. Right there. I know in the actual set it actually shoots. This one just rotates. This moves right here. We'll take a look at all that. But this one just moves. Rotates that way and this one moves up and down. There's no shooting. I do have uh, some flick missiles on here. So I'll show you that. Let me get on. And then here's like. From it from this side up here I don't know if you can tell or not in the bridge um, this is obviously the bridge where the, com the command center is for General Grievous uh, but between here there are two clear one by two flats in each one I don't know if you can tell to make it look like it's a bridge window but it's not really that noticeable but there is um, two of those in there here's the rest of it, the front um, and here's a look at it from the top. Um, so, let's get on the review. Uh, we'll start here in the front. Uh, these also, these do move. You can move them up like that. All These pieces are from a Ninjago Lego set. Um, so, 
let's get on. So again, these, like I said, these move, these move this way, and this one moves up and down this way. You can move about 180 degrees. You can only do half a circle, obviously. Um, so let's start here in the front. In the front here, this, this is, this is the cockpit. I'm um, right here. This moves up, and there is a chair inside there. Um, and there's also a little storage compartment, a little, not storage, just a little, uh, thingy with a bomb inside it. So here's the first part. There's not much room in here. Um, there is a control panel right there. So we'll, we'll fit, um, Count Dooku in here. If you just send in there, you can close that up. Um, so he's in there. So there's just room for one chair for a minifig to fit in there. And that closes up there. You can see inside there's just a small little room. A little space here. So that's that. That's just a little cockpit that closes up. Um, and then we have the flick missiles right down here. Let me move this up so you can see it. There's one on this side. And we'll just show you on the other side. There's one on this side as well. So it doesn't really... I tend to avoid them, just not because I just I just don't like them. Um, I don't like including them. So, next thing, yeah, I don't like using flake missiles that much because they're not my favorite. And they're just, I don't know. Next, we have right here, this is the... Kind of the main part. Also, this uh, rotate. This is a turret that can rotate 360. But this goes up here, and then to review a better, to see a better interior to it, um, we can take both of these off. Give me one sec. I have to do it a certain way, and I need two hands to do it. Here we go. Um, this is the interior right here. Um, as you can see, that is the inside of it. Um, you can put two minifigs in those chairs. There's a control panel here. And inside here, first I'll show you the two minifigs that can be sat right in here. can sit them there and then sit, I'll sit, sit Dooku, even though Dooku is not, he's a bad person, whereas Anakin's a good guy. You can close it up and put it on top, but these pieces do have to be put back on, I had to take these off, that's what I did, um, to see, to, to see the interior better. Um, then right down, right in here, you gotta, it's kinda hard, you push that, there's a little thing as you can see, that goes up. And you can put a minifigure inside there as well, or put whatever you want inside there. So we'll throw um, a lightsaber in there. So there's one in there, and then you can so you can put minifigs. Anything will fit in there, pretty much, almost anything. I don't know, like minifigs or weapons, accessories, etc. So that's just a little space. Can't get it. Oh, it sucks. I can't get it out. Give me one sec. Again. Good lord. I don't know that would happen. Okay. Okay. Again, guys, I apologize for putting my camera down so many times. Again, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how to manage doing a, um, doing, getting a tripod or something, but I would just probably buy a tripod for my iPod, and then, um, because it's a little difficult, I, would, I had to, I got it out. 
Um, so yeah, let's not put that in there again. I didn't know that would happen. So yeah, I was sorry about that. So again, um, anything can fit in there pretty much. You can put many figures, many figures fit in there. So it's like a hidden compartment, kind of similar to the feature of the Millennium Falcon. I think it was, I don't think both of them did. It was a newer one. Where like the smugglers, they hide. Um, it's not really meant for that, but the same idea. You can throw any like many figures in there, and it just close up and then when it's not opening you t it makes extra extra room for another minifig to be in there so it's another another little area for more for another minifig to fit inside um okay check for part two um to finish it because in part two we're going and um, we're going to finish the review of course and we're going to have a little quick discussion about this um too to so check for part two to finish the review